Igbo Area TV on on the Igbo. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Depend on where you're watching us from, Amazoka um, OGN. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, for more updates, federal government to begin demolition of buildings in Festac Town. Uh, this report says November 27, 2021, but the demolition has already begun based on videos obtained last Sunday. The demolition would begin from 7th Avenue and 9th Avenue and would later be extended up to uh, till um, 11th Avenue yeah, uh, in um, Festac Town. Here is the news in detail. The Federal Housing Authority, FHA, is set to begin demolition of substandard buildings across Festac Town in Lagos State. The news agency of Nigeria, NAN, reports that uh, Francisca Michael James, FHA's uh, head of a town planning southwest zone, met the disclosure on Friday when she led uh, an FHA delegation to Festac Town. The FHA uh, delegation was accompanied by a Lagos State Task Force. Mrs. Michael James told news agency of Nigeria that effort to stop encroachments and building without approval in Festac Town has failed as encroachers ignored stop work orders and eviction notices. She said the last demolition notice served on illegal occupants in the town elapsed 21 days ago, hence the proposed mass demolition. Mrs. Michael James said that a substandard buildings under construction and the encroached portions were on swampy land and a risk collapse because of uh, the soil type and its behavior. She said that the whole of Festac town was sitting on the same kind of delicate soil but gave assurance that engineering solutions were applied to estates built by the federal government to achieve quality and durable construction. That is to say, um, apart from the federal government uh, buildings there constructed, uh, that other buildings are not to stand. The federal government um, built theirs with their quality and durable constructions, while others, that is what she's trying to say. She went on, any time from now when our management gives approval and the tax force is ready for us, we will swing into action. We are going to demolish especially structures that are on our major roads, the buildings, lack structural integrity because uh, the, the owners never came to us for any approval. They are telling you they are going to begin. They have begun yesterday, Sunday. They are, the demolition is massive. She went on. Our professionals did not supervise the construction. We don't even know the integrity of the structures that, that they are building on the site in this era of uh, building collapse. She said the FHA, Federal Housing Authority, had the uh, title document for the total land of 2, 2, 224.6 hectares in the Festac master plan. She said that encroachers were building on federal government land. <laughs> According to her, there is an edifice um, being constructed on a major uh, road in Festac and the property was served as top work order and demolition notice. The owner continued building and started Painting. Uh, I think it's a case of um, somebody would have sold the land for the guy in, in tune of millions and uh, you are telling him to leave, stop work <laughs> when uh, he has paid millions maybe the, to the Monile people. Uh, she said that apart from substandard buildings on illegally acquired land in Festac Town, houses were being constructed on road setbacks, drains and other infrastructure. She said the demolition would begin from 7th Avenue and 9th Avenue and would later extend up to the 11th Avenue. Explaining the principle of Raft Foundation, um, FHA's uh, Southwest Zonal Head of Engineering, Kunle Olaniran, uh, said it could uh, be likened to peeling to a particular height using iron rods to achieve thickness for specific roads before construction. Mr. Lani Rana said the underground work required professionalism because of varying calibrations needed on plots with varying soil behaviors. 
Alaba Moneyi officials of Southwest Zonal head of Lega Department ruled out regularizing the areas encroached upon because of the integrity of the buildings constructed on wrong foundations and, and land gradients. He said that some of the houses were below the level of the road and could eventually collapse because of the soil settings. The head of the survey unit of the FHA, Lawa Omar, uh, recounted how his team was attacked severely on construction site by some encroachers. He said that it made it difficult for the team to work without security operatives. Uh, well, um, should I say the government is doing their work or this is another calculated attempt at wish hunting the Igbo people who owns the majority of the properties in this said area? Um, whatever the case may be, you and I can't really help it. The government can actually mark and seize properties for any purpose. Uh, properties that go against the law too can be demolished. And some of, of this time, uh, the people are warned, but they ignore the warnings and go ahead to build. They get warnings and then just sign, but they carry on perhaps because they have paid for the properties from unauthorized, uh, they pay to unauthorized people. And from the ongoing demolition, we have seen properties worth millions, multi-millions of Naira have been destroyed. And Debo, you need to shine your eyes too. Uh, go and develop a label. Forget about those who tell you uh, you shouldn't build houses in the village where you hardly visit. The places are gradually opening up. It's so bad. Um, let's show you uh, some of the destruction further. Hey, <laughs> Thanks for watching Ebo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.